All right, for the video today, I'm gonna do a little Q&A. I asked questions on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. In my stories, I asked you guys to send me questions that I will put in a YouTube video. So that is at nahamsha.hiker. And I asked this like a couple weeks ago, but just haven't had a good time to sit down and film a Q&A, so I am right now. So the first question, is was it easier is it easier this year than it was in 2020 and i think definitely yes um i think it's easier i the first 274 miles i knew exactly what to expect i knew where to stay where to camp i knew like how everything worked towns shuttles everything and also the hiking i think i was more in shape in 2020 when i started the trail but here I'm like mile 500 something um, definitely have my trail legs and definitely pushing bigger miles now right, the next question my favorite trail snacks I love gushers I love Cheez-Its I actually have my food here I've discovered um, nature's valley has some cool snacks so like these ones and these are really good I love getting snacks at Outfitters because they have like more backpacking type of snacks like the pro meal bars um, energy chews I have Snickers um, I have pop tarts every morning um, cookies I am NOT the healthiest hiker and I admit that and I'm okay with that and I'm I'm doing pretty well so whatever I'm doing is is working for me Someone asked me if women are afraid of men on the trail, and I haven't experienced that. I haven't been afraid of anyone. I am hiking with a couple guys, so it's nice like being in that group, but if I get a weird feeling about a male that I don't know, um, I just hike away from him. Um, don't really engage in conversations with people I don't have a good feeling about. I always sleep in my tent, kind of like away from people. So I haven't been scared of anyone on trail yet. Sorry if the camera keeps jumping around in between every question. I have to keep pausing it and then going into my Instagram to look up the next question so I can answer it. I don't have anything written down. Um, but the next question is how often do I resupply? And average, it's been every three days. How many times do I camp before I look for a hostel? Um, usually I do hostels when I need them. So when I'm running low on food, I'll start looking for a hostel. Or if there's a hostel that I heard really good reviews about, I definitely want to stay there. Um, weather, if we're going to get crappy weather, um, I'd look for a hostel. But usually they just come at really good times and I'm not afraid to just jump on any opportunity. Um, I really do like the hostel experiences. That's where I hang out with people. That's where I get to chill. That's where I get to edit my YouTube videos, do laundry, buy food. So I really look forward to hostels and that's how I motivate myself on trail. So that's how I'm pushing these big miles because I know there's something on the other side. If I didn't stay at hostels as much as I do, I probably wouldn't have that much motivation to get miles in during the day. All right, someone asked for my editing software and what I'm using to film my videos. I am filming on my cell phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy Note Ultra 20. And I edit my videos in an app called Power Director, and I pay monthly for that. Um, I have the paid version, not the free version. Do I have any feet problem or blisters? So I had a lot of foot issues my first like three, four or five days on trail, but I switched out my shoes and haven't had any foot pain or injuries since then. And I have gotten a couple blisters, but they're very small and they don't really bug me. Do I use shelters, a tarp, a tent or cowboy camp? That was the question. I sleep in my tent when I'm on trail. I slept in shelters when I was in the Smokies and I slept in a shelter once outside of the Smokies when there was like tornado and high wind warnings. So just to be safe, if you're in a tent um, in really bad weather, there's always the fear of a limb falling onto your tent and that can be really dangerous. 
So if there's really bad weather, I'll sleep in a shelter. But if it's nice, I'll sleep in my tent. That's, that's what I prefer to do. How long does it take me to edit my videos? So my videos are, I don't know, anywhere between like six and 10 minutes long, the videos themselves. And it'll probably take like 20 minutes to edit the video and put all the footage together. But it also takes time to make my thumbnail. So a couple minutes for that, a couple minutes to like think and write out a title and description and get all that together. But, and then it takes, takes a long time to take that video and upload it to YouTube. So like while it's uploading, it could be an hour, but I can do other things. Um, I can minimize the app and while that's going on. So usually I spend maybe like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes per YouTube video working on them. Do I use a fitness watch to track like my activity? Um, so this is a Garmin VivoActive 2, I believe, or 2 or 3. Um, I just have it on. I don't track my activities, so I just like leave it on the home screen. I don't do anything special, and I just periodically check to see how many steps I'm doing and the time and elevation and stuff like that. Um, I don't upload my anything to Strava. I don't track my activities, but if you go into the Garmin app, it'll give me all my stats, like my sleep, my heart rate, my calories and all that. So I like having the watch because I really like looking at my stats. I got a question if I was planning a PCT or a CDT hike next, and the answer is no. I, as of this time, don't have any interest in either of those trails and would rather do more stuff on the East Coast, more New Hampshire things, East Coast things, shorter through hikes that are less than a month. But you never know in the future, but as of right now, I don't really have any interest in those two trails. Are there more hammocks or tents on trail? And have I ever tried hammocking? There are a lot more tents on trail, only a handful of hammocks that I've seen. And no, I have never tried hammocking. I prefer the tent because I just like my own little house. Um, I like spreading everything out and sleeping on the ground. Right, and this is gonna be my last question because it's a very common one a lot of people have been asking. What am I doing for footwear? So shoes, socks, insoles, all that. So the shoes I have, I have these, the Saucony or Saucony, I don't know how it's pronounced, Peregrine 11s. These are the ones I got at mile 30 at Neil Gap. Um, they were recommended. I tried a couple of pairs of shoes on and I liked those the most. They're actually a men's version which works for me and I'm looking to replace those soon with a fresh version of the same shoe because those are about probably 500 miles old now so it's time to replace them socks I use a sock liner I use the Indinji toe liner socks which prevent blisters and over those I wear darn tough socks um, for the insoles in my shoes, I just use the insoles that came with them. I don't have any special insoles this time. And I'm also using trail gaiters. So these just go over the shoe to prevent like rocks and dirt, sticks, anything getting in the shoe. So that is my footwear situation. So that's going to do it for today's q and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you follow me on Instagram and Look out for the next story I post where I ask you guys to send in more questions because I'm sure I'll do a couple more of these along the way. Um, maybe next time I'll have them more like themed like a gear Q&A or, you know, anything. So let me know in the comments um, what you want in future videos. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.